about me and my art, <coughs> and they post on Facebook, which is nice, promote it. Okay, um, this is my painting that I'm doing as my first um, painting assignment, and this is an oil painting, and so I am working on it because <clears throat> it's been sitting, literally sitting in my studio for about hmm, maybe a year, maybe even two years, from a class that I took on... Um, interpreting Van Gogh and I wasn't happy with the way it was going. Um, to be honest with you, I really wasn't sure about the way the class was going. So because I wasn't happy with the class itself, I <clears throat> really wasn't happy with the painting. Um, so I am going to redo this painting. Now when I say um, we're doing, you know, 30 days of painting. I don't mean necessarily that you have to start over from scratch from something that, you know, you just kind of come up with and you start from the very beginning. You can um, work with something that you just want to finish in your in your process of painting, um, and you can even use a painting that you have worked on before um, as a theme. Um, mine is going to be a combination of, you know, I'm not really sure if it's true, absolutely this is not written in stone. I don't want to say this is written in stone because it may change as I go. It always seems to always, it, it seems to always change. But for now, what I'm thinking of doing is, um, different interpretations of Vincent van Gogh's work, uh, maybe like um, the sunflower and possibly the church um, as the theme, only because, first of all, I love van Gogh, and also because um, of my experience in going to Auvergne and seeing his work and seeing where he lived and um, really being inspired by um, some of the places I went to and learning a little bit more about him and his life. Um, so I'm going to be taking these photographs that I, you know, took when I was in Avair, as well as photographs where I took, uh, when I took photographs in Javerny and also just the city of Paris and using that as a theme for my 30 days. Um, it may change as I go. Even the medium that I'm using may change. Right now I'm using oils um, just because I wanted to get back to my oil painting and um, pick up some other, you know, oil techniques, oil painting techniques. So I'm going to be doing some research online on different oil painting techniques and uh, really getting into that particular medium. Um, one thing I want to say about oil painting is that you can put anything under an oil painting but you cannot put anything over oil. And that's why I'm going ahead and staying with the oil painting rather than going into acrylics over it or something else because it's important to stay with the oil painting now that I've actually have I actually have oil over this canvas and the reason why is because over a period of time it will crack and so um, what I'm doing is I'm gessoing around in my negative space because I want to start over in some in some respects, um, but I'm going to keep some of the shapes that I have on the canvas, and then um, you know continue with that. 
So as I said, this is one of my projects and I wanted to show you uh, kind of a step-by-step -step process of what I'm doing and you can um, you know take this and go okay well I've got a painting I think I would like to redo or um, finish as well so this particular 30 days is a little more free than the 30 days that is um, was posted that I posted on Leslie Cetus website. She's a little more structured in, in the way she is um, doing her 30 days. Mine is, is a little bit more free in the fact that my rules are quite as um, strict, I guess, in the fact that I'm saying you can, um, you don't necessarily have to do, number one, you don't have to necessarily do a painting each day, as long as you're paint, as long as you are painting, that's all that matters to me, is as long as you are getting into your space, your creative space and painting, that's the most important part. Because what this should do is develop a practice, a creative practice, and at the end of the 30 days, you should be able to see um, some kind of a practice that that you have experienced and you'll understand a little bit more about your own creativity and that's what this particular um, group is for it's not so much to create a masterpiece um, in fact it is not to create a masterpiece that's not that's really not my idea of the group um, the group is um, Put together because I really want you to get the idea of how you work as a creative and what brings you joy what obstacles you meet and how you meet your obstacles you know how you meet your challenges um, what helps you to get yourself into the creative space um, that kind of thing to me is more important than you know doing a painting that you're going to sell it doesn't mean doesn't mean that you wouldn't doesn't mean that you won't at the end of the 30 days actually sell some of your work it doesn't matter that's not the goal for me anyway it's not the goal um, I just think that we all need to develop our own creative press practice and um, hopefully this will help you do that and um, even if you come out of the 30 days and you have done you know uh, well more certainly more than you usually do creatively then I think you can say to yourself I met the challenge because um, if you're not creating a lot now and this helps you to do that then to me that is a positive result from what you experience okay so I'm going to um, continue doing this continue covering my canvas my spaces with gesso and sometimes you know sometimes when I'm stumped on a um, a painting I will actually literally uh, take gesso and just paint in certain areas um, because it's like starting off with a new painting and if you're stumped in the way it's going then it's probably a good idea to um, give it a new surface in some way um, so it gives you the opportunity to start over in some sense. You're not starting off completely, start o starting over completely. You actually are just painting in some of the areas that you want to redo. Um, and it helps me. And one of the things I'll be sharing in the process of doing this 30 days is things that help me as a creative. And I'm hoping that you also share some things that you do that helps you 
as a creative as well. So the group is open 